Banana split for my baby. A glass of plain water for me. Mm -mm. 8.47, Seattle's Morning News. Mickey Gomez joins us now. Uh, this story, Mickey, is about a Japanese company which is selling a serving of ice cream, 4.3 ounces, for $6,696. <laughs> I assume yeah. it has, like, solid gold sprinkles on it. What's the deal? No, so the ice cream, uh, which you're right, it is uh, made by a company called Salados Biokia. Uh, it costs about nearly seven thousand dollars like you said for 4.3 ounces and it can be purchased online it's made from truffles grown in alba italy mm -hmm. which go for about fifteen thousand dollars per kilogram uh, -huh. uh the ice cream also has uh parmigiano reggiano and uh sake lease which is a fruity paste left over from you know when they make sake and well it's handcrafted and so they're selling it and people are buying it. That, that's yeah. That was going to be my question. It's one thing to put it up for sale online. Mm -hmm. It's another thing for somebody to actually purchase it. So people have actually bought this ice cream. Yeah, people have bought it. Boy, you, you better have a really good cold pack in that box, <laughs> because if your seven thousand dollar ice cream sundae arrives melted, you're going to be ticked off. I was going to ask, well, are you actually eating it, or are they just yeah. saving it for posterity at, yeah. at that price? Well, here's Here's the thing, it can last a lifetime, which is really interesting. So you can purchase it at the Salado website and the ice cream does come with a handcrafted metal spoon. And also I read that the same materials used to build temples and shrines are actually in the handcrafted uh, metal spoon as well. So it's like you're getting a piece of history. So it's not necessarily just the ice cream. <laughs> I'm um, still having trouble. I'm having trouble buying this uh, whole mm -hmm. thing. That somebody, I I, even even a really rich person. I mean, you really, you might as well just set fire to your wallet. But That's you, what I'm saying. But uh, they yeah. also plan to release more ice creams with expensive ingredients oh, like course. champagne and caviar. Um, so the expi so like I said, the ice cream doesn't expire. But the company does suggest that you eat it the first ten days to experience the greatness. Well, of what the is Parmigiano it? Reggiano and the sake and the truffles and everything. Uh -huh. what, what does that combo taste like, I wonder? I have, you know, I can't imagine what cheese ice cream must taste like, but I would expect that it would taste creamy. And because of the truffles, I imagine maybe a little mushroomy, but it's got like, you know, a little bit of bitter and sweetness all put together. I don't know. <laughs> but You should ask this... for a sample. I know, right? Oh, yeah. You really should. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm doing you a know, story. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, well, this led me down a rabbit hole to find other most expensive foods. So, okay, Dave, I get it. You wouldn't try the ice cream, but what's the most you would spend on a bottle of wine? Um, I might go seven bucks. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, what do well, we the I, I, underst I, I understand that there's some very expensive wine. Uh, mm -hmm. I, on occasion, I, I've had occasions to, to be served some... Uh, by wine aficionados, some really expensive wine. And I always say, oh, that's the best wine I ever tasted. But truth be told, it, <laughs> it, I couldn't tell it from Gallo. Okay. Trying it, Trader Joe's, or Trader wine Joe's? in a box, $12. I'm, yeah. I'm good with it, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, the most expensive wine, according to CEO Magazine, is Screaming Eagle Cabernet Sauvignon mm -hmm. from 1992. And it's going to, it'll cost you about $500,000. <laughs> and then, I went down another rabbit hole and found the most expensive pizza in the world. It is made by a company called Louis the Eighth in Salerno, Italy, for twelve thousand dollars. What? That's for the whole pizza. Yes. Okay. I tell you what. I would. I would what? pay that if they included airfare and a two-week hotel stay. Hey, man, brother. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and then the most expensive water. How much do you think the most expensive water in the world oh, costs? God, I have no idea. Most well, Acqua di Cristallo. Yeah. Is about $107,000 per liter. Per liter. It is the most expensive bottle of water ever sold. To and it's whom? sourced from France yeah. and Fiji. Plus, it comes with, uh, it, it also come, comes from a glacier in Iceland. And there's about five milligrams of gold dust sprinkled inside ah. the bottle, which yeah. is also coated with 24 carats. 24 karat gold. You know someone's going to investigate okay. and find out. It's just out of the tap. Yeah. I'm glad it comes with some gold because I've had the water in Paris, and I'm telling you, it could be the much from Parisian water. Uh, is, it, well, I remember, is it at least uh, fizzy? Is it fizzy in some way? Is it effervescent? It's not fizzy. It's, not it's, fizzy. Just, it's, 
It's water. Plain old it's flat crystal water. clear. It's just flat water that you could probably mm. get from a tap. As a matter of fact, I remember growing up, everyone said that Ozark, I don't know if you remember Ozark bottled water, no. was actually water from Houston Tap. Hey, I got a uh, an unopened can of Cajun Cola, which I bought in New Orleans. <laughs> I believe it's got some kind of pepper in it. And yeah. I, I think I paid full price, like 57 cents a can. But I, it's, it is unopened, and I've had it since 1973, I believe. There's nothing in there anymore, Dave. It's evaporated. It's, no, it's a aluminum can. It hasn't been opened. <laughs> okay. That would, you, that would defy the laws of physics. So, um, it, what are what, what the site, the, this place in Japan that's selling the, the mm -hmm. uh, extremely expensive ice cream? I mean, this is obviously a publicity thing. What what do they actually do for a living? Well, they make food. They make ice cream. Oh, so they, it's, they make it's a they chef. Make, they also make reasonably reasonably priced ice cream. They do make reasonably priced okay. ice cream, um, like for four seventy five. But the most expensive that they have is going to be this one for almost seven thousand dollars. And again, it's their job to outdo themselves. So they're going to be making another ice cream, like I said, with caviar and champagne, which is something that I might try. They yeah. do have an ice cream that's seventy four dollars for a couple of ounces. I would actually pay seventy four bucks to try it for for the caviar ice cream. Yes. Yeah, fish ice cream. I'm sorry, Mickey. It did. <laughs> Okay. Fish flavored ice cream. Come and get it. Mickey Gomez.